The Snapmaker. Have you heard of it? It claims to be a three-in-one CNC that can 3D print, laser engrave, and is a CNC router. There's one main question I want to answer, and that is if, is if someone wanted to get into making and selling things, is the Snapmaker a good option? So full disclosure, Snapmaker sent this machine to me in exchange for my honest review and opinion of it. So first up, let's get this thing unboxed. So everything is very well packed. It looks like we have the main components, the linear modules, 3D printing module, laser module, and the CNC module. It comes with a touch screen, and then there's the different beds, the heated bed and the bed for the CNC router and the bed for the CNC laser. They've also included a very detailed user manual and all the tools it looks like here to get it assembled. As you can see, the assembly was relatively easy. The instructions were very clear and it took me about an hour to put everything together. The modular design made assembly go very smoothly. I've assembled over 10 CNC machines now and this was by far the easiest and most fun to assemble. There's just not a lot of extra parts and it's just very straightforward. I went ahead and set everything up to 3D print since that's what I wanna test first. Now that we've got the Snapmaker assembled, let's test out each of its capabilities. To test out the 3D printing function, I picked this cool self-watering plant pot project. This is a design I paid for and I'll leave a link down in the description to it. I loaded the model into the included software, which is called Snapmaker Lubon. So let's see how this goes. So I ended up printing a couple of these just to test out the different settings. I set the first print to print in low quality because I wanted it to print as fast as it could. This print took eight hours. So for the second one, I slowed things down so I could get a higher quality. The print quality on this one was very impressive. Overall, it took 14 hours to print. Now, I don't have a ton of experience with 3D printing like some of you do, but these speeds seem pretty slow. But overall, I'm completely satisfied with the 3D printing capabilities. Next, I switched the machine setup from the 3D printing setup to the CNC machine setup. Overall, this process took about 10 minutes and included about 20 screws to undo and redo and then attaching the different uh, module. Next, I tested the CNC machining capabilities. Before I created a bunch of dust, I wanted to assemble the enclosure. I didn't do this for the 3D printing because it's not very necessary. But the CNC router makes an absolute mess and the CNC uh, laser engraver uh, will have a lot of fumes. Using a small piece of cherry hardwood, I attempted to do a 3D relief carve of this pattern. I used the stock settings for the tool pass. The bit size I used was 3.175 millimeters or an eighth of an inch diameter. And since this is a 3D relief carve, I was using a ball nose bit. So the CNC machining results are quite impressive. The cuts are clean and the machine offers good precision. I could have tightened the step over to get a cleaner result, but the machine did exactly what I told it to do. The software provides several options to customize the milling process, including speeding up and slowing down, which I did. I increased the cut speed by 50% uh, during the job, so I ended up at 18 inches per minute. Now, some much more expensive CNC's, I don't even have that feature. One thing to note is the bed size of 350 millimeters by 320 millimeters. So that is the equivalent of approximately 12 and a half inches by 13 and a half inches. You do have quite a bit of travel on the Z axis, which is 13 inches. So these dimensions will limit the size of projects you can make. So now let's turn our attention to laser engraving. I've gone ahead and switched over from the CNC router module to the laser module. It took me about five or 10 minutes to switch it over. I prepared this simple design to engrave on the same piece of cherry wood, just on the back side. I wanted a design that was small, but detailed, so I could tell how clean and precise the laser was. The overall power of the laser module is pretty low. It's designed just mostly to be a, an engraver. Could you cut with it? Sure, but I don't think that's what its intended use is. Snapmaker does make a 10 watt laser head module, which you can upgrade to. I think this would be a fantastic upgrade to look into and would greatly increase the ability of the laser engraving. Overall, I'm really impressed with what the Snapmaker has packed into this unit for the price point. Here are the features that I love and the ones that I don't really care for. Let's start with what I don't care for. It's super slow compared to my other CNC's, which with that being said, I don't think it's a fair comparison. My other machines are much more expensive than this machine. This is just a lot slower than I'm used to. Number two is I thought switching between the different modules would have been a little easier. There's about 24 screws you have to undo and redo every time you wanna switch. And it's called a snap maker. I figured like something would snap into place, like the head would snap or the uh, work tables would snap into place. 
But nonetheless, I mean, it only takes 10 minutes to switch and to switch from those, I mean, that's, that's not bad at all. Number three, the doors on the enclosure sometimes get stuck and don't slide smoothly. I suppose I could grease these, but I don't think that's the point. And it's just, it was a little frustrating trying to open and close those slider doors. Honestly, those things are just me being nitpicky and it's really hard to find things wrong with this machine as long as it's used for what it's intended to be used for. So let's get to the things I like. Number one is the incredible build quality. Everything has such a smooth finish on it. It's all metal, all aluminum. It reminds me a lot of an Apple product, like an iPhone. Every single part from the packaging to the machine itself, it's just beautiful. Number two is the ease of assembly. I've assembled well over 10 CNC machines now, and this has been my favorite. Between the great instruction booklet and the small number of parts you need to assemble it, it goes together really fast. Number three is the versatility. The modular design with the CNC router, 3D printing, and laser engraving. Snapmaker also makes a lot of add-ons and upgrades for this machine to increase its versatility even more. They make a rotary where you can uh, have a fourth axis. I already mentioned the 10 watt laser head upgrade, which I think is a great idea. And then the dual extrusion 3D printing head, they have that as an upgrade as well, and then the enclosure. So there are a ton of options to customize the machine to your likings, and you're not stuck. Like, it's not a dead end. They're constantly upgrading this machine. All right, the fourth thing is the software. The fact that it comes with its own software is mind-blowing for the price point. I don't know another machine at the price point that provides the software that is this capable. Snapmaker Lubon comes with the machine and is surprisingly very functional and very easy to use, including sending your G-code files directly to your machine over Wi-Fi, which I did several times. All right, last but definitely not least is all these things are great, but I think what I like the most is the company. Snapmaker as a company is constantly innovating and improving their products. I love companies that are always constantly trying to improve and they're not just resting on what they did. If you don't know, Snapmaker was a Kickstarter project, and so uh, they've had incredible success, and they keep building on that success, and I absolutely love it. All right, so it's time to consider everything we learned and discovered about this Snapmaker 2.0 350T. To determine whether it would be a good idea to purchase this machine with the intent of starting a side hustle. If someone was to ask me my opinion on that, I would tell them, no, I don't think it's the greatest idea to do that. Is it possible? Sure. Anything that you can make on here, you can sell. But when it comes to business and side hustles, usually with a side hustle, you have another job, right? Time is limited. And this machine doesn't do anything fast. Does it do it well? Sure. Its quality is acceptable, but in order to achieve that quality, it takes a long time compared to other machines that I've tested. So this machine is seriously like a Swiss Army knife. Think about a Swiss Army knife. It has about 27 different things that it can do. Think about the little scissors on a Swiss Army knife. Can you cut things? Sure. But if you had a pair of scissors, you could cut a lot better. So I really don't see how the diversity of this machine would help you in a side hustle. If you've got some ideas, let me know down in the comments below. But just because I don't think starting a side hustle with this machine is a good idea, doesn't mean I don't like this machine. I absolutely love this, this machine and its position in the market, right? Its intent. Its intent isn't to go out and make a bunch of money, right? Its intent is to expose people to three disciplines rather than just one at a fantastic price point. What this machine does very well is combining the three different practices of CNC routing, laser engraving, and 3D printing in one seamless package. The software that they provide does all three. You don't need three separate programs. It does all three by the click of a button. And so they've made that seamless. So if you're interested in learning more about this machine or purchasing one, I'll have a link down in the description for you to check it out. In this video right here, I reviewed the cheapest CNC router on Amazon. And I think it'd be a great comparison to see what this was capable of and what that is capable of to kind of give you an idea of different capabilities. But check that video out right there and I will see you over in that video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.